a couple of Russian YouTubers uh, came out with what were supposedly benchmarks from an M4 powered MacBook Pro, uh, full packaging, although the packaging looked like older packaging. Uh, so there's some uh, dispute of it, but the figures uh, pass merit. So uh, right now there's only uh, CPU uh, benchmarks out there. It does not look like there is anything uh, related to the GPU or the NPU yet. I don't know if they're slowly trying to torture people uh, on this to be able to tune in. Uh, I guess if you're a YouTuber, it's a smart thing to jack up your subs and, and views. But uh, what it shows, uh, nothing extraordinarily surprising. Uh, it does very well on the CPU with single threaded, uh, single threaded scores. Uh, higher than uh, AMD, Qualcomm, uh, and, and Intel. Uh, by the way, uh, the M3 performed well on single-threaded Geekbench uh, as well as Cinebench. Uh, where it gets, uh, I guess, interesting here is multi, uh, multi-threaded benchmarks, Geekbench and Cinebench, and Apple got an extraordinary lift uh, here, where just to be brutally honest, they were they were somewhat of a I mean they were they were a complete lagger, right? You had uh, Qualcomm and AMD pretty much running circles uh, around the the M3, and the score of 971 for Cinebench, uh, 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 AMD is still in the lead by a sizable margin. Uh, Go AMD, it's very similar uh, to the Qualcomm X Elite. And what we know about uh, the Core Ultra 288V, uh, it shines mostly in single threaded, uh, but uh, it gets hit uh, pretty substantially because it's an eight core uh, solution versus 12 and uh, multi-threading uh, with, with AMD. So uh, nothing surprising. I mean, I think for me, the MT scores were uh, a lot better. And if I dial out, what does this mean? I think what it means is that uh, AMD, Qualcomm, Intel are still still very competitive. Uh, AMD still has superior multi-threaded uh, performance. Um, Apple does put some distance uh, uh, with uh, Intel Core 7 Ultra Lunar Lake um, and less distance. I mean, they're almost the same uh, on Qualcomm, but um, it's what you would expect. Uh, let's just say that customers are paying a $200, $300, $400 premium for this chip uh, and this design over everything else. It better perform well, uh, but I think it also shows the durability of, of, of Qualcomm and AMD AMD designs, uh, and the funny part is, you know, Qualcomm is ARM, and AMD is 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 x86. But hey, we'll have to see with the GPU. We're gonna have to see the uh, the NPU. But just the fact we're talking about anybody else being in the zone with with Apple, uh, I think is a big freaking deal because Apple has been running circles on the laptop side around everybody on the uh, uh, on the CPU side. And I think it's important too, companies like Signal 65, one of our sister companies gets in and does the hardcore testing to get underneath the reality. Yeah, you, you hit the leaks uh, in, the, in the data side. I just wanna have a little fun with this, by the way, because you know, the market perception is that Apple has this sort of ability to keep its its launches and new products airtight. And over the years, it's gotten harder. And of course, in a connected world, I, I pulled up some 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 data points, Pat, on this. Um, uh, they they're saying that this was potentially the worst product leak since. You remember what happened with the iPhone four? Yeah, yeah. Legal got involved, investigators, police, all the, that. Stuff. The, the prototype was apparently left in a bar in two thousand ten. Yeah, exactly. So found that. Um, you know, it, it said that uh, up to that. There's a rumor also that 200 of these units may have been stolen from a Chinese warehouse. That's one of the other rumors that's out there right now. 
and that uh, it's obviously through they're being trying to they were selling them in the black market on Russian classified sites. I just thought that was super interesting, like um, how this happens. I mean, Apple has historically been incredibly good at containing uh, this kind of stuff. Now, the, the fact of everything you said is, is interesting, but I think it, didn't it all kind of fall in line? Were there any surprises in these numbers to you? I mean, the MT was a little uh, bigger than I thought okay. it would be. And, and by the way, uh, ARM, the latest ARM instructions are, are definitely playing a role uh, in this, although Apple won't give ARM credit, it should, but you're seeing a boost just because, you know, just with ARM V92. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, I mean, the results are, are positive, and, and I think you hit it. You know, we're going to need to, one, see this actually get launched, two, we're going to need to put it in the lab and see how it compares. And with all these advancements and these new AI PCs, <clears throat> Um, Mac has sort of been on the outside, like no one's really been counting it in and maybe it needs to be. So of course, you know, when it comes to these arm based, they were first, they were first to do it. And, um, they were first to show, and you and I saw from M1 to M2, the generational improvements, Pat, you had some of the best documentation in the world on how crap the M1 was, but, um, they did figure it out and they did sort it out quickly. And, uh, you know, by this next version, it looks like it's going to be pretty darn compelling. 